Hello everybody and welcome. Today we're going to go over the 10th tutorial here. And the 10th tutorial is going to be going over what we pretty much went over in the last episode and that is arrays. And now you might be wondering what the hell is an array and what is it going to be useful for. Well basically an array um, is something, and this depends on the programming language, but it can store, it can store things like zero, well actually like uh, in some programming programming language that sounds a bit weird uh, you have to specify like string or int but uh, don't really think about that because we don't have to in Lua because it's a pretty good language um, and C++ and stuff you do but not really in Lua uh, you could set you could put true you could you could store things in an array pretty much pretty much any Lua thing uh, I believe you can even store objects in arrays but I might be wrong on that uh, I never really used arrays to store objects. I just primarily used it to store, um, to store strings, ints, and bools. So what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be uh, iterating through an array, and I pretty much show, showed you how to do that. Uh, but I'm gonna teach you a lot. I'm gonna teach you some things about, well, what you can really do with an array. So right now we just have hello here, right? Well a2 equals 5 so then you could print a1 and print a2 and I this might not work I haven't not really used Lua in a while but basically what this is going to do is a2 is going to create a new element that is the second element and um by the way the element is which thing in the array so this is for instance the first element um this is the second element, this is the third element, and it keeps going on and on. Depends on how many elements you want in the first place. You could have no elements, but then it would... Like, if you if you try to define an element, like, let's say you had one element, and you try to define the third one as something, I kind of doubt that that would work. And I just want to test that, because I've actually never tried that, because that seems a bit... That would actually work. Um, it's just pretty impractical, so I just suggest you do that. Uh, do this. But anyways... So, what this does is, basically it'll print the first <coughs> element in the array, which is defined as this. And we could actually just, uh, a1 equals, uh, high. Uh, and do that. There you go. And that worked. And, of course, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to concatenate and all that basic stuff. So, high, by, and probably I should add a space there, but whatever. So, we could do cool things with the array, like, um... Uh, too, it'll take too long to print out the alphabet, so, but, um, no, nah, really, I don't know, uh, true, true, and one, so, let me think of a good example, actually, because, uh, function, uh, ooh, turn off, uh, and basically what this function is going to do is, it's, it's, Okay, so this is where it starts, right? So, uh, temp, I just call it temp, the thing where it starts, and where it starts, and local. So, uh, what we're gonna do is a, uh, e, true, a, c, t. There you go. Uh, so what it's going to do is, it's gonna take an array for a parameter, which you don't really have to specify parameters. So I'm just gonna put hello in there, just for the hell of it, I don't even know what to name it. So anyways, and we're going to have to call return all a, and we're going to have to also put in indexes, and I think I spelled that wrong, but I'm too lazy to fix that. So number a, which is, number a basically means how many elements are in a, or indexes, of, yeah, I'm pretty, I don't know, uh, but anyways, what it's going to do is, um, for i equals one index, uh, Actually, no, I, I think that's kind of redundant, because what we could do is just, uh, number hello, two, and then return temp, which it'll do after the fact that it's done. So what it's going to, so what it's going to do is, uh, temp equals temp dot dot a, uh, no, a, i, and what that means is it's the i index of a, which is this array, and, uh, well, i is the thing that increments. And by the way, it doesn't have to be I. It could be X, it could be B, it could be whatever you want. Uh, I mean, we could use X and probably still, oh, oh, it didn't really do anything useful. 
So, I mean, print it. Yeah, see, printed out electricity, which was split out into this array. And you know, there's that. I mean, uh, there's probably some more table functions, but I just really wanted to go over the basic overview. Uh, I might be going over those more in the in another in a future episode, but we really don't need to cover over that much because the basic concept of it is pretty simple is what I'm trying to get at. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.